flat panel display. Now we are going to see it in detail, the flat panel display. The term flat panel display refers to the class of radio devices that have reduced volume, weight, power and require power requirements compared to the CRT. CRT means previously, have you seen the previous monitors? These were like this. This is the monitor in this way. Previously monitors were there. Okay, in this way previous monitors were there. Now see, have you seen such kind of monitors previously? Previous monitors? So in this way there were monitors TVs also in the previous uh, 15 years back or you can say 10 to 15 years back the TVs at home were also in this way. This is the display screen of your TV or your monitor and this is the CRT. If it is possible, I will show you uh, the CRT if it is available with us, such kind of uh, monitor or some previous CRT is available, I will show you. Okay, so previously it was there. Now you can observe it. It is big one, heavy and more power is required for such kind of TVs or for such kind of monitors more power were required and for this purpose the flat panel displays comes in the market. What is the flat panel display major advantage? It reduces the volume. Now you can see this TV whatever I am using here the panel sensors panel I am using here it its volume is very less. It is like a blackboard only. It is fit with the uh, uh, our wall and it like a TV or we can say it like a blackboard. At our home we are using now LED and LCD TV. No one is using such kind of TV. Is there anyone from such kind of TV? No. Everyone is using now the flat panel TV. LED or we call LCD. That what is LED and LCD we are going to see how the actual LED and LCD works. So what for which purpose this flat panel displays are used or major advantage is that it reduces the value, weight, if such kind of CRT monitors we are using, then it's a very, uh, what we say, heavy. Now, the panels of the TV, it's a very lightweight available. Monitors are very lightweight monitors are now available. So, volume, weight and power requirement. It reduces all these three compared to the CRT. For example, our small TV monitors, calculators, pocket video games, laptop computers, etc. So we can, there are two types of flat panel displays, emissive display and non-emissive display. Many times, uh, whenever you buy a new TV, color TV, what you say, I, uh, our TV is LED TV, our TV is LCD TV. So both are different. Both are, LED is different and LCD is different. So in this way, there are two categories of flat panel display, emissive display and non-emissive displays. Now, first see the definition of emissive and non-emissive display. After this, we will see in detail how actually it works. So, the emissive display or we call it as the emitters are devices that convert electrical energy into light. Emissive display convert electrical energy into light. So, plasma panel, one of the example, thin film electroluminescent display and light emitting diodes means LED are the examples of emitive display and all these three how it works we are going to see in the next PPT. So remember only the definition is that the emissive display are the devices that convert electrical energy into light. The examples are plasma panels, thin film, electroluminescent display and LED. And non-emissive display or non-emitters use optical effects to convert sunlight or light from some other source into graphics pattern. Into graphics pattern, LCD is the example of non-emissive display. Now see here in detail the work of this display. So the first one. You can see here diagram shown of plasma panel display device how it works. It is also called 
discharge display. Gas discharge display, why? Because the gas is used here to generate the colors or to generate the display. Also called gas discharge displays are constructed by filling the region between two glass plates. You can observe here there are two glass plates. Okay. In between there is a gas. In between there is a gas. Which type of gas it is normally? It is neon. Which type of gas it is normally? It is neon gas. So a series of vertical conductors. You can see here vertical conductors on one glass plate. And series of horizontal conductors on another. So this is vertical conductor gla glass plate and this is horizontal conductor glass plate. So a series of vertical conducting ribbons you can see here and horizontal you can see here on another glass plate. Now firing the voltages, voltage is applied to a, a pair of horizontal and vertical glass conductors. A voltage, normal hold 256 or uh, whatever the range of that voltage is applied to these conductors. Uh, first, pair of horizontal and vertical conductors using the gas at the intersection of the two conductors. Then this gas breaks down into a glowing plasma electron and ion. From this glass gas, sorry, from this gas, neon type gas, it glows the plasma of electrons and ions and display the picture and display the picture that is simple plasma panel but what is the disadvantage of plasma panel that there were strictly monochromatic devices these are strictly monochromatic devices generate black white gray green shading or uh, in this way the pictures are generated now, the next example of emissive display is the thin film electroluminescent display. So, the example is shown here in this diagram. So, similar in construction to the plasma panel, you can see the construction is same. Two glass plates are there. Here is one. Here is one. It is vertical. It is horizontal. Only the difference is that instead of gas, in the previous plasma panel, gas, neon gas was there. Instead of that, it is filled with a phosphor, such as zinc sulfide doped with manganese. And inst instead of gas, this phosphor is used. Zinc phosphor is used. When Again, the high voltage is applied to a pair of crossing electrodes, horizontal and vertical electrodes. The voltage is given. The phosphor becomes a conductor. This phosphor, zinc phosphor here, it becomes a conductor and generate the electron beams. Generate the electron beams and it passes to this and display it on the phosphor coated screen. The disadvantage is that electron, uh, sorry. Electroluminescent displays require more power than plasma panel. And good color and grace color displays are hard to achieve. Good colors are not possible to achieve with this. Uh, conductors are using this phosphor. Good colors are not possible to achieve. So that is emissive thin film electroluminescent display. Only the difference between plasma in that instead of neon gas here phosphor it is filled with two glass plates are filled with the phosphor which is of type zinc sulfide. High voltage is provided to this horizontal and vertical uh, glass plates okay of that conductor which passes through this phosphor filled phosphor and uh, generate the uh, electron beams. But the disadvantage is that it requires more power and good color and grayscale displays are not possible. And the next one that we use everywhere LED, light emitting diodes. So it uses the simple method, it uses the matrix like structure. You can see here, it uses a matrix like structure. So a matrix of diodes is arranged to form a pixel position in the display and picture display definition is stored in the refresh buffer. So here you, if here we want to display the picture. So in that case this diode 
is used as a matrix you can see here and that part only displayed on the phosphor coated screen information is read from the refresh buffer information the picture information here we want to display these four pixels so where this information is stored it is stored in refresh buffer in memory it is stored in refresh buffer in buffer memory and this information is read from the refresh buffer and converted to voltage levels that are applied to the diodes to these diodes the voltage is applied and produce the light path if in refresh buffer suppose for example here i want to display this kind of triangle so in the refresh buffer information it a buffer it is stored that this point we need to display on the matrix this point this point this point this point this point this point we need to display on the matrix so the picture information which need to be displayed it is stored in the way of pixel that you know if it is a black and white then black and white then only one bit is sufficient okay zero means not to display one means display that particular pixel and if it is color then 24 bit pixel is or 24 bits are used for pixel so which color to be displayed depends upon this 24 bits and here the information is displayed where the information is stored it is stored in the refresh buffer this information is retrieved from this refresh buffer and this these diodes particular diodes are then emitted and show the light is it clear so that is work of led now the next non emissive display so in emissive display we have seen the three types plasma panel second one is the thin light then and the third one is the led so in plasma we have seen that only uh, two glass plates are used along with the gas in thin luminescent display we have seen two glass plates are used but instead of gas there is different method used that is phosphor uh, diodes are uh, phosphor are used such as zinc sulfide is used there and in the third led matrix is used there diode matrix is used there, used there information is stored in the refresh buffer and accordingly the information is provided to the diodes and lights are generated so that are that were the emissive displays three types now the non emissive displays lcd one example is the lcd now we are going to see how actually it works so lcds are commonly used in system that you know lcds are used commonly in small systems such as calculators portable laptops computers tvs etc produce a picture by passing polarized light from surrounding polarized light is used here or from an internal light source through a liquid crystal material so here you can see the liquid crystal material is used okay and these are polar you can see here polarizers so polarizers are here these are like this horizontal these are vertical sorry these are vertical these are horizontal means these are in 90 degrees with each other these two polarizers you can see here one polarizer and second one is in this way and another is in this way both are perpendicular to each other along with that two conductors are used here transparent conductors you can see this one is the horizontal conductor and this one you can see it is vertical conductor transparent conductors are used now that is here written here there are two states on state and off state on state means that the light passes through this polarizer then these conductors transparent conductor horizontal and vertical what it gives it gives the direction to that light it gives the direction to that light vertical sorry horizontal and vertical conductors it gives the direction to that light means on the screen where to display that particular light whatever the passes from here to here so this is on state when the light passes through this polarizer conductors 
and these horizontal and vertical conductors normally gives the direction to the light where to display on the screen and offset means that the light is not passes from here through this liquid crystal light is not passes that is the simple work of lcd so two glass plates again the same two glass plates are used here already i have told you each connecting light polarizer at right angles 90 degree angles to each other another sandwich liquid crystal material is there this one sorry sandwich liquid crystal is used here that is rows of horizontal transparent conductors are there this is horizontal this is vertical and the intersection of two conductor define the pixel position the intersection of these two conductor define the pixel position where to display so there are only two states on state and off state on state means light will transfer transmit and off state light will not transmit so here the light is transmit and display and here it is not transmitted so that is about the lcd how it works okay is it it is where 3d images are very common okay 3d images are very common in nowadays but previously it was difficult so some methods were used in the crt monitors to show the 3d images so it is related to the crt so previously when there were crt monitors the how the 3d images are shown to the viewers and now for that the different angles are used to show the 3d images so what how it works for that you can see here crt monitor if he, here you can see the viewer here crt monitor here it is a viewer who is looking at the 3d image for that to display the 3d image vibrating flexible mirror is used and another timing and control system is used so vibrating mirror for which purpose this vibrating mirror it uses or changes its focal length due to vibration according to the vibration the focal length is changes with the display of an object on the crt it synchronizes with the object of the crt and according to this the mirror vibration using the vibration this mirror changes its focal length and how it is in synchronization with the object on the crt which the viewer is going to show as the 3d object so each point on the object is reflected from the mirror into special position corresponding to the distance from of that object from a viewing position so according to this distance the and this crt there is a picture so that picture according to this picture this focal length is adjusted by using the vibrations of this mirror and the viewer can see the 3d image so example genesco space graph system which use the vibrating mirror to project 3d objects into 25 cm by 25 cm volume where the, these are normally used in medical to analyze data from ultrasonography in geological to analyze topological and sense seismic data and in designing like solid objects viewing and 3d viewing of objects nowadays it is very easy to show the 3d images but previously when their crt monitors was used in that case these vibrating flexible mirrors are used to change the angle and show as it is a 3d image now nowadays these methods are very common that is stereoscopic and virtual reality system so i uh, in our college we are now implementing and developing the ar vr lab how many of you know this about this ar vr lab so in our college we are implementing this ar vr lab vr ar vr means augmented reality and virtual reality virtual reality means what the object is not there but you are looking it virtually it is available 
So stereoscopic system views does not produce three dimensional image, okay, but it produces 3D effects by presenting different views. That is shown here. 3D effects are shown here. Whether that object is not actually three dimension is not a generated image, but produce effects, 3D effects by presenting different view. To obtain this, we first need to obtain two views of the object generated from viewing direction corresponding to each eye. We need to create the object according to the left eye and according to the right eye. Two different of uh, views we need to generate. So we can construct the two views as computer generated scenes. These are computer generated scenes with different viewing position. Or we can use the stereo camera pair to photograph some object or scenes. So that camera is available, such kind of goggles are available through which you can see the 3D image. Two types of objects are generated. There are two objects, views of each object is generated. One is related to the left eye and one is related to the right eye. So when we simultaneously see both the views as left view and with the left eye and right view with the right eye, then two views is merged and produce an image which appears to have a depth. Or it looks like a 3D image or real image. So it's a virtual reality. The image is not available, but it's a virtually present. So that is here such kind of camera that shown here the person is wearing this camera. So this kind of camera is available in our lab also. So if it is possible or when you are here as a, for offline lectures you can see that camera or you can uh, take its uh, advantage. It's available with us or we are implementing this lab. So virtual reality. Virtual reality is the system which produces image in such a way that we feel that our surrounding is what we are said in display devices, but in actually it does not. Means with this you can feel that you are now in front of the Taj Mahal. You can feel that you are in front of the, uh, or you are in America, you are in some museum. So it is possible to feel it. It is not there. You are in college, you are in your laboratory, you are at home. But you feel like that you are there, surrounding is like that. So in virtual reality, user can step into a scene and interact with the environment. Interact with the environment. Once you wear that camera, once you wear that whatever the available material or that uh, entire set. Once you wear that entire set, you feel like you are there at that particular position or at that particular environment but you are in college a headset correct the headset you can see here in the picture the entire headset an optical system to generate the stereographic views is commonly used sensors are there in the headset keeps track of the viewers position so that front and back objects can be seen as the viewer walk through and interacts with the display so you are feel that you are walking there, you are actually there in the museum, you are actually there in front of the Taj Mahal. Uh, so in that way, it is possible with this virtual reality system. Now, one of the video, now it is there on the internet. Okay, I will try to show you that video where this virtual reality system is used now it is uh, uh, i think on whatsapp everywhere this video is available is it visible this video Is it visible? Have you seen this video? I think everyone seen this video on the internet. It is viral now everywhere. So what is there? Is there actual lion? No, the lion is not there. But it looks like that the lion is on that on that shop. And how it is possible? It is possible through this augmented reality and virtual reality. 
so that is the use of virtual reality we can feel the environment we can feel the per that uh, scene whatever they are in the display that is about the virtual reality so the next one is the raster uh, is it clear to everyone about the display devices so that we can next raster scan system so raster scan display we have seen what is raster scan display can anyone tell me in one line what is raster scan display and what is random scan display now we are going to see actually how the raster scan display and random scan display works row by row it show the or uh, scan the line row by row and display the image now we are going to see the how actually it works raster scan display so simple raster graphic system it's a fixed portion of the system is reserved memory for frame buffer where the picture information is stored it's a basic refresh operation of radio controller means radio controller is used there to perform the basic operation and display processor so see here this is the diagram simple diagram you can see here the system bus then cpu it perform the normal operation in the computer system then system memory when memory some part is reserved for the refresh buffer or buffer memory we store the picture information and the another thing used here raster scan display is the video controller now see how it works addition to the cpu a special purpose processor is used that is video control addition to the cpu a special purpose processor is used that is video controller or display controller to control the operation of the display device for graphics purpose this video controller is used now this system memory where the information is stored some part is reserved as the frame buffer frame buffer can be anywhere in the system memory and video controller access the frame buffer to refresh the screen so the video controller the information picture information is stored here in the frame buffer display memory you can say and that information is captured by the video controller what kind of picture to be displayed and according to that the picture is displayed on this monitor that is the simple work of raster graphic system now here it's a simple system memory is used in that some part is used as a frame buffer another me uh, method or you can say another system is there in the raster graphics that here fixed memory portion is used so in the system buffer this fixed memory portion frame buffer is used to store the picture information that is the only difference from the previous slide only that portion is fixed here so a fixed area of the system memory is reserved for the frame buffer and video controller can directly access it not required to scan the entire system memory the frame buffer is reserved here video controller access this and from that take the information and accordingly that picture information is displayed on the monitor so frame buffer location and the screen position are referred in cartesian coordinates it gives the coordinates x coordinate and y coordinate so x axis and according to y axis what is that we will see in the next slide so the x and y coordinate information it is provided by this frame buffer to this video controller and then it display the picture information so here for many graphics monitors the coordinate origin is defined at the lower left corner we know that in most of that suppose for example this is our screen so in most many systems left corner lower left corner is considered okay screen surface is in uh, then from here it start in this way now in our system in our monitors we are using which is used a starting point which is used at the starting point this one upper left corner then the x and y values are increases positively according to this so x is from here to here means from left to right it is increase and for y axis 
it is from top bottom to top the values are increases for x it is from left to right values are increases and for y bottom to top values are increases to represent the coordinate so x y 0 0 means start from here 0 1 1 in this way for x then y is increased then x is increased in this way the values are displaced if the starting position is the lower left corner on some of the machines what happens the starting positions upper left corner that i have told you that upper left corner is used upper left corner is used so in that case two registers are used to store the coordinate x register to store the x axis value and y register is used to store the y axis value so pixel information is stored according to x and y values so two registers are used to store the coordinates of the screen pixel where x and y initially x is set to 0 and y is set to y max see here why it is normally our monitor starts from upper left corner suppose this is so this is x axis okay so here you can see the x and y axis x axis is here y axis is here so start from here so initially start from here what is the value of x initially it is 0 and what is the value of y it is y max it is y max initially for the next point what happens y max remains as it is x is increased by 1 for next again x is increased by 1 until x becomes x max so it goes here now when it start scanning the second line what we need to it decrease the y max correct it decrease the y max and again x is equal to 0 Again, x is equal to one, two, three, four, five until x max. For the next line, again y is decreased by one. Y max minus two. X start from zero, one, two, three, four up to x max. And where here it stops. When it stops, when x is equal to when it y becomes equal to zero and x becomes equal to x max. In that at that position, y y is equal to Zero and x becomes x max. This way, when it going to be stop? When scanning from here, raster as it is a raster system, one by one line, and when y becomes equal to zero and x become equal to x max, it is complete. It's one refresh cycle, and then again for the next refresh cycle, it start with x is equal to zero and y is equal to y max means from this position. Again, complete the entire scan. When it comes here, again start complete one refresh cycle and start the new one with x is equal to zero and y is equal to one. So in this way, it works. And nor in our normal uh, monitors, TVs, or you can say uh, this screen or this PPT, how we start from upper left corner, correct, and go up to the end. now the next part so raster graph system with display processor so uh, previously we have seen that it is a system memory system memory some part is fixed with fixed the memory portion but frame buffer is it is part of the system memory is fixed for storing the picture information it is not used for any other purpose in this way there is another type of raster graphic system with a display processor display processor is different and video controller is different in the previous example we have seen it has only video controller along with the cpu but now in this here along with the cpu and video controller display processor is used 
that is another type of raster graphics system with a display processor so one way to design the raster system is having a separate display processor coprocessor you can see here here is the separate display processor Okay, so you can observe here there is a separate display processor along with the CPU and video controller. Purpose of the dis what is the purpose of this display processor to free the CPU from graphics work means CPU is not going to perform any graphics work. This display processor is dedicated to perform all the graphics work. So displaying the images, then animation or 3D images, whatever the graphics work, everything is done by the display processor and free this CPU. So display processor has its own separate memory for fast operation. So display processor memory, frame buffer and the system memory is different. It is for the remaining operation. So this is the entire part of graphics system. This is the entire part of graphics system. Here you can see it is a display processor which dedicated for performing the graphics work. This is the display processor memory for storing the information or display processor in display information picture definition it is stored then from here it is goes to the frame buffer video controller retrie retrieve this picture information and display it on the monitor again the refresh rate is used to minimize the flickering and all these things same so main work of display processor is digitizing a picture uh, definition Means picture definition, whatever available, it is digitized. Means it is in the form of 010101. It is in the form of 010101. That pixel intensity values, which are from processor memory, it goes to the frame buffer. Then video controller retries these values 010. What is digitizing picture information and then display convert it and display it on the monitor. So in this way. The raster graphics system with the display processor work. That is another way or way of raster graphics system. Now, random scan system. One minute. Now the next one is the random scan system. How it actually works? So in random scan, what we have seen. In random scan, normally if it is a monitor, we can say, then the picture information is directly displayed. Means suppose I want to display a triangle here, the picture, how it is displayed, the dots, all these are directly displayed. Means the, as in raster scan, every line is scanned. It is not done in the random scan. In random scan, direct a picture is displayed on the screen. That is random scan system and that's why it is not possible to display the realistic images using the random scan system. And because of that only most of the systems are raster scan. Most of the devices use the raster scan system because it display the uh, realistic images along with the shadow and all the graphical uh, effects we can use. Uh, we can use all the color effects we can use with the raster scan system. But in random it is not possible but in some of for example in cartoon we can use the random scan system as there is not required the realistic images so in that case we can use it so random scan system how it work actually in background so that is shown here again the system bus is there system memory is there display processor monitor and cpu all these parts are there so application program here one application program is input what is the input? The application program. For example, suppose you are running a cartoon net, cartoon uh, video you want to run or cartoon you want to display. So for that you need to draw the cartoon images and perform some application program and it stored in the system memory along with the graphics package. So display the graphical images we require the graphics package. For example, if we want to draw a circle with the uh, application circle okay r comma x y coordinate where you want to display the or start the circle 
you want to display a circle so in that case whether it is possible to directly draw a circle in our c no it is not possible for that we need to use graphics.h header file so in this way for some uh, displaying these graphics images or these 3d images animation we require some graphics packages along with the system memory graphic commands in the application program are translated by the graphics package whatever the command given for example draw a circle draw a rectangle draw a line so these commands in the application program are translated by the graphics package into a display file in the system memory all these are done in the system memory or stored in the system memory so they, this is translated into graphics package use it to translate this information or the application program into a display file display file is required for which purpose display file is required to display the image through this display processor on the monitor it need to generate a display file with the picture information you can see this display file is then accessed by the display processor that i told this display file is generated in the system memory using the graphics packages and for that the input is the application program for that the input is application program okay so this display file is used by this display processor to refresh the screen or display it on the monitor the display processor cycles through each command each command it goes through each command in the application program or in the display file program during every refresh cycle again the refresh cycle is used to avoid the flickering means once the image of the circle is displayed it need to be continuously on the screen so this circle whatever this application program is written there whatever the command is given that is executed at every refresh cycle if it is 60 times 60 times the circle command is executed at the background then only you can see the picture of circle continuously otherwise you will see it and immediately it will uh, disappear or flickering image may occur so it is also known as this display processor as a graphics controller it is also known as a graphics controller okay see once again i am explaining in short uh, in random scan system no realistic image is there in random scan system directly the image is displayed on the monitor or the display device okay no scanning of row by row so in that case in the random scan system how it works for that application program is written for example i want to draw a circle then i want to draw a line in the circle then i want to draw a rectangle in the sorry triangle in the circle so in this way some application program is written this application program is along with the graphics packages which are stored in the system memory graphics packages are required so application program and this graphics package along with this system memory these generate the display file what does the display file contains it contains the picture information what is include this application program whatever the commands are written there whatever the commands are written there in the application program are translated into a display file using the graphics packages then this display file is accessed by this display processor okay this display processor then transfer it the monitor refresh the screen and to avoid the flickering at every cycle of the refresh cycle all these commands are executed in the display file all the commands in the display file are executed each every refresh cycle to display the continuous image 